Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. As you can see, we are back to the super chill setup and today we have got a very interesting phone over here. So this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Xiaomi surprised us all with the pricing of this phone yet again and this is what Xiaomi does. They surprise us every single time with the pricing. This phone has some awesome features which have never ever been seen at this price range before. So I am very excited to try this phone out and let's go ahead and unbox it. So this is the super chill unboxing of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Sit back, relax and have your cup of chai with me. Alright, right off the bat there are some specifications of the phone written on the back over here. For example, it has a 108 megapixel AI quad camera, so a 108 megapixel primary sensor, then a 120Hz AMOLED display with support for HDR10. So this is the main highlighting feature of this phone, a 120Hz AMOLED display. That is just crazy. Apart from that, it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G. Now, this might not be the best choice out there, but I am excited to see how it turns out. I especially want to check the 120Hz refresh rate and if 732G is capable of handling it properly. Apart from that, it has a 5020mAh battery with support for 33W fast charging. Now, as you can see, the seal is already broken and that's because Xiaomi told me that they wanted to make sure that this phone has the latest software build and that's why they had to open up the seal. So we won't be needing this tester, but tester OP in the chat guys, tester OP. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Alright, here we go. First up, we have a little sleeve over here, which says designed by Redmi. Now inside this sleeve, first up, we have a SIM card ejector tool. And apart from that, we have some paperwork, which is very boring. So I'm going to keep the paperwork aside. And then we have a clear transparent case inside the box. Now this is a normal TPU case, which has some texture on the back over here. So it has a matte texture on the back. So when you hold the phone, it's going to feel good in the hand. So a good quality normal case. I'm going to keep the case aside as well. Now let's just... Alright, so that was the sleeve. Now I'm going to keep it aside. And next up, we have the phone itself. Now this phone over here, Xiaomi has sent it in this black color. I'm going to keep it aside and we'll get back to it in just a moment. Now, apart from the phone itself, there is a 33 watt fast charger inside the box. So as you can see, this is a 33 watt fast charger and that is excellent. Xiaomi is providing it inside the box itself. Then there is a standard USB type A to USB type C cable. That's pretty much what you get inside the box. So I'm just going to keep everything inside and close the box and we'll get back to the phone. All right, here we go. It's time to peel off the plastic. This is what you've come for to hear the plastic removal sound. So let's cut off the background music and let the plastic do its magic. Alright, next up we have the IMEI sticker and I'm just going to remove it and keep it on the box. Alright, as you can see, this is in this black color. It is called as Dark Knight and yeah, it's a very cool name for a color. And right off the bat, this phone looks extremely premium. It does not look like a budget phone at all. And that is excellent. It is very lightweight and thin as well. I did not expect it to be thin. It is very thin, lightweight and easy to hold in the hand as well. Now, let me quickly go ahead and boot up this phone. Alright, while the phone boots up, let me give you a physical overview. So on the rear side over here, we have the camera module. On the right side, we have the fingerprint sensor, which is integrated into the power button. And just above that, we have the volume rockers. Now on the top over here, we have the headphone jack. We have the secondary speaker. So this phone does come with dual speakers. That's why the secondary speaker. Then a secondary noise cancellation microphone and the IR blaster. Now on the left side over here, we have the SIM card ejector tool and nothing else. On the bottom over here, we have the primary microphone, the USB Type-C port and the primary speaker. So yeah, that was the physical overview. And now let me quickly go ahead and set up this device and then I'll get back to you. Also, I want to try the case on. So let's just do that first. Alright, the case fits pretty snug and it also shows off the color. And as I said, it has this matte texture, which will, you know, give you a good grip. Alright, time to set up the fingerprint sensor. And done. 
Now, as you can see, I am getting all these, you know, permissions over here, location, user experience program, personalized ads and stuff. So I'm just going to, you know, turn them off because I don't want ads on this phone and neither do I want to be a part of the user experience program. So just, I'm just going to turn them off. All right, moving forward, I'm just going to click classic, setup complete, and now it's loading the applications. All right, here we go. The setup has been complete. And the first thing that we always do is go into the settings and check the Android version. So about phone, Android version. And as you can see, it is Android 11 out of the box. So finally, Xiaomi is giving Android 11 out of the box. And that is excellent. So you will get the latest software. And Xiaomi says that this phone is going to get MIUI 12.5 very soon. And MIUI 12.5 is supposed to be a lot cleaner than MIUI 12. It will also allow you to install system apps, which are not necessary not the core apps but the extra apps so that is a very good thing i am very excited for me you 12.5 and let's see how it turns out to be i will make sure to make a video about it when it comes and please stay tuned for that and also subscribe because you don't want to miss that coverage now as i said the main highlighting feature of this phone is the display itself but right out of the box it is set to 60 hertz so let's go ahead and set it to 120 hertz first so display refresh rate and here we go i'm going to set it to 120 hertz and yeah, now we're going to get that buttery, smooth scrolling and swiping around, which we all love. So yeah, the display is super AMOLED. It has a peak brightness of 1200 nits. It supports HDR10 and is a 120Hz panel. At this price point, I have never ever seen a display like this before. And Xiaomi has done an excellent job. Now, if we talk about what lies under the hood, it comes with a Snapdragon 732G processor and a Adreno 618 GPU. And along with that, you get a couple of options, 6GB of RAM or 8GB of RAM with 64 or 128GB of internal storage. As far as the battery goes, it has a 50 20mAh battery with support for 33W fast charging. Now, when it comes to the camera setup over here, this is a very interesting camera setup. So there is a 108 megapixel primary sensor. This is the same one that we find on the Mi 10i, that is the Samsung ISOCELL HM2 sensor. Along with that, it has an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 5 megapixel super macro camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Now, let me quickly go ahead and click some photos so that we can, you know, have our first impressions about them cameras. All right, one of the plant over here. All right, one of the entire setup, one of the box itself, because that's something that we always do. And we'll also click a selfie. So here we go. All right, it's time to review the photos. As far as my first impressions go, the cameras do seem really promising, but you guys know me. I will do my in-depth testing and I will make a dedicated camera review of this phone. So stay tuned for that. That is coming very soon. And I will also try to find Gcam for this phone and make a video about that as well. So you don't want to miss those videos. Subscribe to the channel now. When it comes to the selfie camera, it comes with a 16 megapixel shooter. And as far as my first impressions go, the selfie camera also seems promising. Now quick side note, I have also done the unboxing of the regular Redmi Note 10. So I will make sure to drop a link to it in the i button over here and also in the description box below. So go ahead and watch that video as well. All in all, as far as my first impressions go, I am very impressed with the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. It comes with a 120Hz Super AMOLED display, a 5000mAh battery, a Snapdragon 732G and a 108MP quad camera. For the starting price of Rs 19,000, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max is a very impressive phone. Now I will do my proper testing and I will make a full review of this phone that is coming very soon. So stay tuned on the channel. And if you have any request, like any particular video request, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. So anyway, this was my unboxing and initial impressions of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.